Sony has released its financial report for the first quarter of the year from April to June and revealed that games revenue has risen almost 100% year over year. Sony generated $2.5 billion in sales from Sony's Games and Network Services division, which the company has attributed to the successful launch of the PS4. As a result, last year's loss of $164 million has been replaced by a profit of $43 million, even though sales of PS3 consoles and games have dipped. Reports confirmed combined sales of PS4 and PS3 rose to $3.5 million this quarter, against Microsoft's report of 1.1 million units shipped in their report from last week. Impressive numbers all around, guys. GameStop may be prepared to introduce its own credit card, according to Destructoid. The site was able to uncover what looks to be marketing materials from the credit card and says the interest rate for the card is a whopping 26.99%, about double the current market average of 13%. The card will be tied with GameStop's Power Up Rewards program, giving points to members. If this does turn out to be true, just be sure to pay that card off sooner rather than later. Just some good advice. A Swiss gaming retailer may have outed the new name for the upcoming last-gen version of Assassin's Creed, formerly known as Comet, now perhaps called Rogue. According to the now-removed product listing, Assassin's Creed Rogue is set to release on October 28th, the same date as Assassin's Creed Unity. We don't know if this is a placeholder name and date or not, but we can only hope for more news soon. It's dangerous to go alone, so Nintendo is giving us a new Nintendo Direct focusing on Hyrule Warriors. The Direct will be streamed on the official Nintendo website on YouTube at 8 p.m. Pacific and will provide new details on the upcoming Wii U game. With more character reveals coming out of Comic-Con, what would you like to see revealed in this Direct? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor has received a new trailer detailing the powers you'll have in the game via the wraith that's bound to you. The gameplay trailer shows off several sinister tricks and abilities for binding the orcs of Mordor to your side, whether you want to set them against each other or just explode some heads to terrify the rest. Check out the trailer in the link below for more details. New Mortal Kombat 10 information is coming soon, so when might you expect it? In answer to that very question, series creator Ed Boon responded on Twitter saying, I won't play games or try to compete with you you. Hmm, I see what you did there. In case you were wondering, Gamescom will be taking place from August 13th to 17th in Germany, and you can bet your fatalities that IGN will be there covering the event, so be sure to stay tuned for all the new info. We have just enough time now to say hello to our fixed fan of the week. Today's fan is Rooster Tattoo, and he writes, I work overnight and nothing gets me through the night like my daily fix. Great show. Thanks, Rooster Tattoo. I guess you could call the daily fix the daily midnight snack. I'm so clever. And that's your fix for July 31st. I'm Naomi Kyle, and be sure to get your fix anytime online at IGN.